Hey everyone, Austin from Integral here, and welcome back to another episode. Before we dive into today's exciting topic, let's recap what we've gone over so far. We started off with building a simple agent in AI Studio. We called it Better Than Chat GPT. We added a search node, and we also went over the benchmarking tool. Today, we're gonna to be adding an image generation node to take your agent to the next level and becoming a multimedia powerhouse. So, are you ready to jump in? Starting from your home screen on the bottom right, you can see your already created agents. And for those that are following along, go ahead and click on your better than ChatGPT agent. Once in the canvas, you'll see the nodes that we've created in previous videos. So for the first thing we wanna do is we wanna add a new LLM node that will help us create the best image generation prompt. So let's go ahead and name this node image prompt. So inside the node, make sure to choose on your desired LLM. For this case, let's just use GPT-40. In the system prompts, we're going to input our specific instructions of what type of image we want to be created. So in this case, we're going to put in there that you are an expert at creating detailed image prompts and make sure to focus on photorealistic descriptions and vivid color schemes. Create prompts that will result in high quality, realistic images. This node will ensure that your user's natural language requests are first translated into optimal image prompts before being rendered into high quality images. So once we have our image prompt node created, make sure to connect it to your agent input. At this point, it's always a good idea to save your work. Now for the exciting part. To implement image generation, locate the plus button and search for the text to image node in the top left-hand corner. After adding it, we'll create a connection from the image prompt node's output to the new text to image node's user prompt, and then ultimately link that to our agent output. So now let's go ahead and name this image generation node something easy like image, so that you can know which node to go back to in the future. Here's a pro tip for you. There are many image generation models to choose from. I recommend selecting the Flux 1.1 Pro model for its realism. But of course, you can try out the different models to see which one fits your agent the best. So time for the moment of truth. Let's test our agent. In the agent input node, let's say, write me a story about New York City during the holidays. You should now receive a beautiful AI generated image along with a story about New York City during the holidays. Feel free to fine tune the settings until you achieve your desired output. And there you have it. You just leveled up your agent to have image generation capabilities. In the next video, we're gonna be adding text to speech to truly make your agent come to life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more AI development tips and tutorials. See you next time.